Hello, Gorangis are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 29th of November. So last one of the month before we get towards December and the end of the year and all that malarkey. So over in the warehouse, it's getting a bit fresher over here. Can't quite see one's breath, but um, it is uh, a little bit spicy here in terms of temperature. Uh, what have we got? Well, lots of furniture for the uh, 29th. I'm seeing lots of items in here. Get that down. And um, let's start with the mirror, because mirrors are going very well at the moment. This one, 139, looks French, looks to be around about 1900 in date, got more of a bronzed effect going on with a little bit of lighter sort of parcel gilding. A few little losses here and there, but not a bad looking mirror, like 139. Down here, this caught my eye, 141, look at that. That looks to be a period display case now it's not really it or bookcase but we've got glazed doors glazed shelves rather running across this single door rather lovely this arched effect upon it uh, on a squared tapered leg with a, a pull out slide so a bit of sort of hybrid piece of furniture that but a good looking object if you've got the, the right place for it then it's a, it's a rare shape uh, so that was one for one another good looking mirror here this one more of a sort of florentine look like 143 carved uh, woodwormed as well painted red underneath got a nice bit of age and wear to it i'm sort of passing hall chairs cane chairs hall stands low boy here in in japaning or lacquer interesting now that sort of draw design points towards the sort of continental construction but interesting that of some age a bit, bit, bit worn lot 148 so look at that we'll let the dog down bark at whoever the dog's barking at. Who else? What else do we have here? Stick stands, Jardinaires, 157 with the with the brass liner, all important, difficult to get otherwise. More mirrors across the back, long case clocks, cigarettes, probably tobacco, not the most fashionable thing these days, but the signs are. Look at this one, good size this. If you saw it in the photo, you might not realize how big it was, but 178. Players please, HMS Invincible, usual wear and tear and losses down the bottom, but not yeah. a bad thing that. All sorts of things. Look at this lovely chair, a fogged high, French, French armchair, they're like 174 and it's very funky fabric and it's sort of cut and raised and looks rather good on it. That nice combination of a good fabric on an old piece of furniture can look absolutely brilliant. So that's our tip from the warehouse today. We'll go over the road and see what's going on. So over in the smalls room and it's in a state of uh, being organised, shall we say, um, but uh, lots and lots here again, nice full sale. Uh, so what catches my lot 325, how about that Guinness Toucan lamp? With the shade, which is nice. I mean, okay, it's a little bit battered, but um, but with the original shade, rather nice feature. That lot three two five estimate one hundred to one fifty, um, and carry on down. But well, there's a nice little animalier bronze there, lot three forty three by Dubuchon, uh, two to three hundred estimate. The running dog. There are others in the fine cell, but we'll talk about that another occasion. Not a bad little um, decanter box there, lot three twenty. It's always nice, you know. Always looking for the fittings. Are they original? Well, those glasses differ, so that looks that one's an, a later add-in. But all the other four are original. Those are original decanters. Well, they're not star etched. That one's got a nick out of it. You know, one has to go over these things in some detail. Those don't have the star etching, so maybe they're not the original and they're a bit wobbly. Whereas those fit a treat with the star etching. So you know, it's not all perfect. It's rather sweet. Lot three twenty, sensible estimate, two to three hundred. Nice Victorian figured walnut. By the looks of things, yep, figured walnut. I'm not seeing key, can't have everything, not for <laughs> 200 pounds anyway. Further down, powder horns. There we go, start a collection, lot 318. Get six, get you going. Six, it says, and uh, well, it's seven, but anyway, counting, it's not our forte clearly. Uh, further on, lots of booze. Uh, Christmas is coming, how about this? Ginger mason nutmeg, make your Christmas pudding, rather nice. Treen. Spice Tower, I suppose one would call that. With it, you get two of these rather lovely tin tollware type spice boxes, divided interiors, nutmeg could be a bit past it. That's lot 349, estimate 8120. Fancy a bit of arts and crafts, Art Nouveau, nothing too expensive. Have a look at 353, what do you get? Well, that's not a bad start, is it? It's quite a fun little timepiece, continental movement. You get a desk blotter in that secessionist style looks sort of Austrian that one whoops oh, damage the goods you get a sort of rather nice little oil lamp there Egyptian-esque Art Nouveau lady in bronze a desk seal and 
copper casket dated 1927. If your initial is R, you're really in luck. So uh, there we go, that was lot uh, 352. We've got tea caddies. Have we talked about what the glass bowl is for a tea caddy? That was a question I had this morning. So this tea caddy is lot 310. William IV Rosewood, we say, mother of pearl inset, that sort of Willie IV, Victor, early Victorian period. Few little losses, two canisters for the tea. So perhaps black tea and green tea or what have you with the remnants of the foil lining, a mixing bowl in the middle that may be original. It, it's a reasonable fit, it probably isn't original, but there we are. What's the bowl for? A lot of debate. I've always been told that no one ever really satisfied this matter, which is odd because they were made with bowls for quite a long time. You know, the early ones are just a single and then you get doubles and then you get sort of fancier versions and even teapoys. So the later versions come with these glass bowls. Was it to mix the two teas in to get the blend you wanted before you put it in the pot? Was it for sugar? Was it for something else? Who knows? I'm not sure that anyone knows for sure, which is strange. You'd think someone would have written about it. Anyway, that's lot 310. If you want to, want to research that, something to do on a quiet winter evening. 354, look, lots of nice rummers to put some booze in and come around here. 355, nine bottles of Coat Road T99. You could stick that in those rummers. You could buy a lovely big Lalique vase for 150 to 250 we say. Look at that, that's a whopper, isn't it? Modernish Lalique. You could buy some Copenhagen. You could buy a mixed lot of wines and have a proper hangover or a Chateau de Chem single bottle, 361, 1960. Good levels. Cap looks good, in nice condition. Oh, furthermore, or you could buy a musical box. How about this? Box 381, 1 to 200. Looks a bit of a bargain. I think the auctioneer's got the estimate wrong. Or have they? Where, a little bit of worming, scuffing, not too worried about that. Got the playlist, looks good, but inside, okay, lock's missing completely. That's not the best. Then opening up, the real problems start when you look here at the comb and these broken teeth. Yes, they can be done, but it's an expensive exercise and uh, commensurately with it, I think some of the little pins sticking up on the cylinder are going to be broken and missing. There's a rather nasty repair to the butterfly there, that soldering. So all in all, it's perhaps a bit of a, a keen repairer's lot or uh, just one to look at, hence the low estimate. But I'm sure that's tempt people in. Better to have an estimate too low than too high, you can always say. So you can always go on and make more, but you can't sort of undo it. That looks fun again, but again, restoration needed, 369. Chateau Latour, always good, 1967. Lot 372. Stone heads, lot 6, 650. Maybe lot 650. I have my doubts because we're in the 370s here. So someone moved. Yes, they have. 376. Three red sandstone busts. Uh, they look rather curious and rather ancient. Don't they? They're sort of medieval looking. Um, but then one thinks, really, would we have three? That would be quite rare. And then you look across the room and see that there are three more over there. So either someone's been busy on a church or um, perhaps they're not quite as old and the estimate's 150, 250. So I think we're thinking they're medieval in style, probably just as well. Uh, if you want something that's not medieval, but, but, but looks earlier, 437, <laughs> pair of big busts. There we go. It's all here as ever. And finally, because there's so many things in this show, you keep going, oh, cool, look at that, look at that, cool. Anyway, look, 401, cool, look at these. Chaos, these are yeah. whoppers, aren't they? These are um, Victorian. <laughs> Period, Gothic Revival wall lights, four candles rather than electricity, I would say, though possibly one could adapt it. Would have been a finial, there's something missing from the middle there. Properly heavy, estimate two to three hundred. You'll need some good wall fixings if you're gonna hang those uh, in the dining room, because otherwise you might get a nasty shot during dinner or similar. So there we go, it's all here. Finally, last one, lot 402. Been listed as a bottle coaster, so I guess the idea is, like so, ah. I guess so, looks about right, doesn't it? You know, I wondered if it was early sort of early manicure device, but anyway, bottle coaster with a bit of inlay, Tunbridge Ware sort of inlay, that's lot 402. So we've got it all as ever, loads of whiskies in the sale as well, stuffed fish, ball clocks, plated wares, it's all here. So do come and have a good look, pictures as well, jewellery, silver. Tons of it. Great sale the 29th. Good rummage sale. Christmas is coming. Buy your relatives some bizarre presents. Always fun. So uh, do come and have a good look. Otherwise, look at the website, send us your queries, and we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.